Morning. Uh, <coughs> this was a, a photo I took on our bike ride yesterday. It's the bit of the boardwalk on Morden Hall, in Morden Hall Park, in the wetlands. You can see these bulrushes and all the reeds growing up. They were all trimmed back uh, during the winter. They drained the, uh, the, the, all the water out of this lovely, lovely bit of... Uh, this oasis in, in suburbia. I won't paint this tree, this oak tree is coming in from the side, but I, I like all this. I, I'm not sure about the bulrushes, but this is sort of a, we call it the wetlands, this meadow. We've got some one or two poplars. So I'll, I'll have a go at it and uh, simplify it. I'm doing this in oil. I'm still waiting for my, my webcam to arrive. That would be some fun. Sorting that out. Let's turn my phone down. Right, okay. I'm using uh, some cadmium yellow pale, some cadmium red, ultramarine and burnt sienna. <coughs> the burnt sienna mixed with the, with the ultramarine. Uh, the winter and use and winter colours. So the burnt sienna is quite dark, it's a very, very deep red, beautiful colour. Mixes very well with ultramarine and then mixed with um, yellow, make a lovely range of greens instead of using black. So one, two, three, four colours. Or thereabouts, I'll put my cup of tea to one side, which I should probably forget. And I'll rough in the sky. This is just a bit of nine, uh, two millimeter MDF. That's medium density fibre board. It's very, very hard, very strong, very light, and has this lovely mid brown colour. So you don't need to prime it with a with a, a ground colour. That is fine. So I'll, I'll put a sky in first. So I'll just rough it. I'm using a bit of uh, the Alkyd uh, walnut oil with some linseed oil. I've got a bottle of refined linseed oil that I bought at a sort of a, an art material warehouse in Truro, Cornwall, several years ago. But I never really used it because I stopped painting in oils because of the uh, effect some of the solvents were having. Uh, I'll, I'll just open the window a bit because I have got a little tiny bit of white spirit <coughs> that I was using for just to clean out a couple of little riggers. So I'll mix a bit of bit of blue and a bit of white. Plenty of oil. So we just put put this in. Just to just to get it covered. A bit too much oil really. So this is quite a, a low horizon. I like the light low horizon because it gives me plenty of scope for the trees and I don't have to do too much fiddling around in the foreground. It's a bit lighter than that. Uh, don't was it too clean, if you know what I mean. Let's get some more white in there now. Just a bit of white cloud or light cloud going across. Soften. This. I'm using the uh, the blue as a shadow colour under the uh, right I'll turn a touch of red and yellow in there
Right, I've just mixed a bit of a light ready colour. So just coming up over the uh, horizon there. Okay, I love doing skies. They're infinite. I've, I've primed this with a couple of thin coats of uh, PVA glue <coughs> to seal it. And you can see the ground colour coming through, through the blue in the sky. Come down a bit further on that side. Okay, so that's about as low as I want to go. So we've got an interesting cloudy sky. Just gentle whites in there, just to show some very very light wisp of cloud going over. So, uh, same brush. Now we've got a big tree here and we've got some lovely green trees. It was actually a beautiful day yesterday. It was warm, very warm. And spring has really sort of caught up. We're almost into summer now. But the, the greenery has just, the last couple of weeks has just, just gone mad. Okay, so on the on this uh, the horizon, we've got the the light colour of the of the grasses, of the reeds that are growing. They're not green where they hit the trees, so we'll, I'm going to mix the green up. So blue, sienna, yellow. I will uh, just I'll put it I won't put the poplar in uh, right in the middle. Oh, it really is lovely walking through here. You can't ride your bikes on the boardwalk or have the dogs off the lead for safety, really. Health and safety. I'll put in a bit of that trim, maybe, just as another feature. And we'll get some shadow in. I'm not going to do any portraits of uh, trees and things, they're just going to be objects in the landscape. I'm not going to develop them into anything other than shapes. Try and keep your foliage different. Don't don't repeat yourself. It's easy to do though. You get carried away. You think, well, that looks good, and you do another one, another one. Then you end up with a regiment of all the same. All right, get some dark in there. So I'm mixing a bit of red with that blue. So I want some nice strong shadow. So that the the grasses show up against. Sunge like that a bit. Oh, I 
okay? Let's get that. So we'll have a bit slightly up and down the shadow. The one I did yesterday, somebody said, well, it would have been much better if you put some birds in to, in, to liven it up a bit. Well, they're quite right. So I did say oh, I would put some birds in. I'm not going to republish it, but I'll show you what, what it turned out like. In fact, I'll do that now. Okay. Uh, where is it? It's just a simple uh, North Cornish coastal scene, entirely fabricated. They don't, it doesn't exist, but it's inspired by many, many holidays in Cornwall. So I, I put four little birds in a couple of dark shapes against the light cloud and some white gulls against the darker area. So that's all I've done on that one. So. Right, let's start to work in some uh, some grasses. So a bit of burnt sienna, a bit of white. I'm going to put my burnt sienna. I've got blue in that, I don't want blue. I want nice burnt sienna, a bit of white, well, a lot of white. Ah, oh, my brush is falling apart. Ah, oh, well, throw it away. It's lasted a long time and I do have three new ones. Here we go, Pro Art Series 22 Hog Varnish brushes. So I'll put down the oil and we'll still go back to where I was mixing up the paint and I don't know where I was doing it. Uh, right, I do. Found the spare space. Touch of red in it. Right. See what happens with this brush, all those single bristles are giving sort of individual grasses. Okay, more or less like uh, right now under that, we put it well, I'll just get this. More or less level now. On there. So we have a light green, so it's just the blue, the sienna, and the yellow, and plenty of oil.
go darker. So we could get a bit of a bluey green. Get in the corner there. Vary the uh, shades of green, otherwise it'll just be a flat area. So you don't want to paint individual bits of grass, you want to find a brush that will do it all for you, like that. And we'll have some nice lighter bits in there. Just catching bits of light. I think my camera, if I moved it, it's still a bit lag. No, I'm just going to come down there. If I come out a bit, I. The trouble is, if I don't have it at an angle, I get my head in the way. And I'll get complaints. Right, let's do some nice lighter, real light greens. Just break up any lines. Okay, so now let's go and get some of that lighter green in here. So the light seems to be coming from the left. Can be bored with the royal wedding now. I'm not anti, but uh, it clashes with the cup vinyl. <laughs> right, sweet tea. There's a lovely light there. Oops.
Right, well that's about enough for that. Ah, uh, clean the brush. Got a little patch of glue there. A little more tea. Now I want to put a, put a, uh, there's another tree coming in here, but I don't want to put that in. I want to put the one that's coming out of there and so on. So let's get some really nice light, light uh, green. I'll put a bit of sienna, burnt sienna with it. So make it just a little bit darker. Uh, So that's the light, I'm going to put some shadow in. I will probably have to change that one now. Okay, that's okay. Now we'll put the, we'll put a very dark green in. So just the three colours. I'm not using any mixed, really mixed greens. Shadow in the tree. This one hasn't got all its leaves on. Now it's always dark against light, always bear that in mind. You want your darks to look darker, put them next to something light. And I can probably put in some uh, main branches, twigs to that. Just will be very faintly done. I will uh, tracery eyes that twiggery, put the twiggery in. <coughs> and now we've got the tree coming here, but I don't I don't really want to put that one in. I'll put the similar to that on the other side. So we'll uh, but it's just coming coming up slightly in front of that one. Nice light. Light green. Just to balance. Now I've got a darker green on the right. Try and make it uneven. And now we've got that yellow back. A light green. Now a bit 
darker green back in here. Right, now we just put some light back in that. Well, there we are, it's a sort of a meadow. Uh, not quite so sure about the shape of that tree, so I'll just change, change it. And we'll get a bit of a darker. No, I'll put a light against light here, just... Get that darker in there. <coughs> well... I'm going to let that go, I quite uh, like that. Now, in those reeds there were clumps of... Um, yellow flags, irises. So, let's put some in. Just clumps. Beautiful. With this time, with last year, last week when I was Past, or past the rapeseed field or fields on uh, coming up to the Ashdown Forest, coming, coming back from the coast. And I was painting those. But now we're back into Morden Hall Park on our weekly bike rides. Just gorgeous. Put a few flicks here. It's very, very wet now. I won't, I won't do any more to it than that. I, I just want to to soften out that uh, blue bit there. That'll do. I'll put it in the mount and we'll have a look, so bear with me. I hope I haven't disturbed the uh, camera, no, that's all right. Got me a little frame here. Oh. I hope I haven't streaked across the sky like I did with the one yesterday. Now I put a couple of nails in, so that it uh, 
doesn't stick to the inside of the frame. I do. That's all right. Uh, there's one little bit that I need to change. So there it is in a frame. That's. Uh, Uh, just a little touch there, I need to just get that out. Probably a fly. Something there. Oh, I've just wiped that on my pinny. Okay, now I've really tried to separate the light greens from the dark greens to give the light coming in from that side. <coughs> I haven't put anything there. It's too fine to do that for, for me. Um, the yellow flags, though, uh, they need probably a bit more solid yellow. Right, that'll do. Hope you like it. I quite like it. I think that's uh, turned out quite quite well. I think maybe I could. I've gone a bit over the top with uh, with that shape there. So let's just fill some that in a little bit. Put out some uh, oh, that's a bit better. Right, well, there we are. So, Morden Hall Park yesterday, a uh, great place to be, uh, and I'll publish this also on. Uh, on Carl Shorten Facebook page. I've got quite a following there. I live in Wallington, which is the next sort of linked village along. Uh, Carl Shorten and Wallington seem to go together. So thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.